All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 11 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. Now the reason I did that and we wrote 1 as 1 squared is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So just to clarify, a is 2 to the power of 11 and b is 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. Now, what is 2 to the power of 11? Well, 2 to the power of 9 is 512. 2 to the power of 10 is going to be double of 2 to the power of 9, which is double of 512, which is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now, I get 2,048 plus 1 times 2048 minus 1. Now 2048 plus 1 is 2049, and 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So I get 2049 times 2047 and now a simpler way of multiplying this rather than the usual method of this way. This way takes way too long. So a much easier route is to rewrite this as 2000 plus 49 times 2000 plus 47. Now from here, I can simply distribute. So I have 2000 times 2000, which is 2000 squared plus 2000 times 47 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 49 times 47. Now 2,000 squared is going to be 4 million plus 47 times 2,000 is 94,000 plus 49 times 2,000 is 98,000 and finally 49 times 47 is 2,303. So now by adding all these up, I get 4,194,000 because 94,000 plus 98,000 is 190,000. 94,000 and then I have to add in the 2,303 so now I get 303 at the end. Alright, so in this problem I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method one, I'm gonna write my problem right here. Two to the power of x is equal to five to the power of x plus seven. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. 
So 5 to the power of x plus 7, I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7. And now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then, these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now, from here, an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of n, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. And I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal... log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7, and this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2, what I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now, I'm going to just start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now, using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now, if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. 
Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <clears throat> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.